Hello, welcome to Make It Yourself. Today we are doing book folding. In your kit, you'll have a book. This is called a bone folder that helps you make creases. A sharpened pencil, a ruler, and a pencil sharpener just in case you don't have one. You'll also have a sheet that is pre-marked with the page that you're going to start on, how many folds you're going to do, and your measurements. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to show you is your sheet that has your starting measurements on it. So up here it'll have, uh, make sure that the title matches your book. So we make sure we have the right one. Start on this page, number 77. We're gonna be making 40 folds. The folds are already measured out for you here. So this column is to check it off after you have marked it, because once you get in the middle, it does get confusing. Which one did I just do? So just do a little check mark or an X or something after you've done that mark. There's the page number you're gonna start at. This is the first measurement you're going to make. This is the second measurement you're going to make. So I'm going to put this over on the side. Start with the book as if you were going to open it and start reading. Then you're going to turn it counterclockwise so that the spine is facing you. Then you're going to turn to the correct page. Here it is, 77. Next, you're going to need your ruler. You're going to be using the centimeter side, not the inches. So the one that has the smaller marks on it. Line up the zero with the edge of the page. And then you're going to mark. Each of these little marks in between the numbers is one. That's why we use the centimeter side because it's easy. There are, you know, 10 spaces in between. So you just have to look for the center one, which is a little bit longer in there. And then I can count two over to mark 7.7. .7. And then leaving my ruler in the same place, I'm going to mark 8.9, which is the last mark before nine. I'm gonna check it off on my sheet and turn the page. And I can always double check that I'm on the right page. 79, I'm on page 79. So I know I'm making the marks on the right page. Just in case you forget to check one off, you can always double check which page you're on. And that's all the mark that you have to make. Just a little tiny mark that you can see. Mark it off. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all of mine and you can mark yours and then we'll come back when we are finished folding or marking.
So now you're done marking all your pages. You want to turn back to your starting page and then you're going to turn the book toward you. And you're going to fold at these marks. And you just kind of want to keep it as close to 90 degrees as possible. It does not have to be exact, but it will just help you um, keep your pattern looking neat. This is where you use the folder. Just hold it like a pencil and then just make that nice sharp crease. It saves your fingernails, especially if you have nails that are painted or something. Um, it might wear away your nail polish. It does damage your nails a little bit every time. So use the folder and it will keep your creases nice and sharp. Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like? Go ahead and close your book. And then you'll see the pattern emerge. Isn't that cool? Stay tuned at the end of the video. I have an extra way that you can give your book a little bit of pizzazz if you want to. Thanks for watching and happy crafting. As promised, here is an extra thing that you can do. So as you can see, this does look different. You can see the heart shape, but if you want to give it a little bit of pop, you can color this in. So you can also do this before you start. You can just color the whole edge of the paper because the part that is folded in isn't going to show and then this will pop. You can also do it at the end if you change your mind. Now I'm just using a bingo dauber because that's what I that's what I have. But uh, you can use a marker. Uh, you can use uh, some paint as long as you're not using too much. I'm just gonna squeeze these together and just put some color on the edge. Just make sure that you don't oversaturate because then you will have wrinkly pages instead.
So what do you think? I think it gives it a nice pop of color. What did you decide to do? Did you leave yours natural? Did you color it? Did you add some glitter? Or maybe a ribbon here, like in the picture? We would love to see your pictures. Please email them to us at info at trpld.org or share them on social media. Tag us on Facebook at Three Rivers Library. Thanks and happy crafting.